Hey there! So if you wish to see some feedback from your c -sharp scripts while playtesting your game, here's two methods that I use that are quick to get going with. So here's my cube game object and here's my cube control script that I have here and it's attached to my cube as you can see. Um, so the first method would be, let's have a look here, so we can expose the variables you want to see here while you're playtesting your game and you can view them to see them change. So the first method will be if we go inside our cube control script here. Now ignore this template, it might look slightly different to yours, but I've just made some changes. So our first variable is going to be an integer and we'll call it cube rage level. We'll just give it a default value of 1. Now if I was to save this and run my game, this will be an attribute of the cube but I will not be able to see this variable at runtime. So what we need to do is make this public. Cool. So now you can see here when it updates, we have a rage level. A rage level of one. Now in your script, if you have any actions that change this rage level at runtime while you you're playing your game, you play testing this level here will update on the fly so you can see what's going on, what's happening there. And if you don't have this public keyword, or alternatively if you've set it to private, you will also not be able to see it. Okay, so if I just put that back so I can demonstrate it on the fly. So if I then make my cube rage level variable increment by one on every time the update function is run, now if we go back in here, we can see our cubridge level there. We play test. And there you go. It's incremented right there. And you can have feedback. Cool, so that's the first method. The second one is to have your variable here print out to the console at playtime. Okay, so in our script here, now ignore that I've got both of these functions visible. I can explain them briefly later. So if we just use our start here, we want to see our cube rage level get sent to the console when this start function is run. So the best way for this is debug.log. And inside those brackets, you can have the variable that you want to display here. So let's add our cube rage level here. So if we now run the game, you'll see that it logs it here just once. Get off. Right. Now there are other ways to get the output. There is print as well, but I prefer debug.log because print only works if your class inherits from one of the behavior. So yeah, just stick with this one. And lastly, when we play tested earlier, you saw that this value here was updating on the fly, whereas this just ran once. So if we say we don't have the variable available here, so we just remove that keyword there. But we wish to see it update on the fly here. We can actually change where this debug.log is. So if we were to place it here, it will now run every update. So if I play test this now, you can see that this cube is getting pretty angry. And there you have it on the fly. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.